model space viewports have been significantly enhanced in AutoCAD 2015. They now offer more flexibility and greater ease of use when creating them and using them. So when we go to the new arranged view tab and we click on the viewports command, go to the viewport configuration, we can quickly create brand new viewports. After you create those multiple viewports in model space, a bright blue boundary clearly identifies the active viewport, as you can see here on the right. You can easily resize any of these viewports by dragging the horizontal or vertical viewport boundaries. There's a drag spot right here. If I click on it, I can drag it over. And the same here as well. I can drag the intersection point to move them in all directions. There's a new plus icon here in each viewport, the one that's active. If I click it, I can get to a viewport configuration list, and that will quickly change my viewport settings. I can also hold down the control key while dragging my viewport boundary to create a new viewport. And I can do this in all directions, creating a lot of new viewports. On another note, layers have a new sorting feature to it. Layer lists are now displayed using natural order sort. For example, if you have the layer names in numbers like 1, 4, 25, 6, 21, they will be now sorted in numeric order, 1, 2, 4, 6, 10, 21, 25, instead of grouping the first digit seen all by 1s, then by 2s, meaning it would sort them as 1, 10, 2, 25, etc. A natural order sort applies to all layer lists, including the Hatch Editor, Ribbon Tab, and Quick Select, just to name a few. Also, the isometric drafting environment can now be toggled quite easily. You can simply go down to the status bar and change that on the fly just by clicking on the image of the icon or by clicking the arrows and selecting which isoplane you want.